Hi guys, so today I want to talk a little bit about the Green Stuff World Darth Fabric Backdrop. That's a fairly new product from Green Stuff World. Um, it comes in three available dimensions. Um, the large version, which is this one here, the smaller version and um, a version which fits into the Green Stuff World softbox you can purchase from their website. Um, the softbox itself, I haven't done a review about it because I'm not really using it. But I have to tell you, um, which will also be part of a future video, to get like a quick and dirty solution for taking pictures of your miniatures. So um, this whole box here is not very expensive, I think like 14 to 17 euro if I remember correctly. And the version of the dark Darth fabric comes with these two holes here for the attachment points of the softbox. So you have three options available, just a plain um, background in two different sizes and one which fits that softbox. So when it comes to photography or miniature photography, um, there are thousands of videos out there and I do not want to reinvent the wheel, um, just check, check it out. Uh, nonetheless, I will take some opportunity during the next few weeks to upload um, a few videos for different setups. So, first of all, um, introducing the Darth fabric, comes in this little, little package here, not extra wrap, wrapped, and Green Stuff World um, claims that this has a 99.9% uh, .9 of light, light absorption um, from, from the visible light spectrum and making it the blackest fabric on earth and it is, um, well, it claims to be really, really good for miniature photography, so we will test that. Um, first of all, first impressions, um, if you roll it out and you see this already. I think in the camera I have a light source coming directly here from, from the side. It's a window light and I have light from the ceiling. And if I hold this up, you, I think you can already see that this is a great absorption value here from that fabric. Yeah, I just turn it around and you see reflections. Uh, you see, uh, but this is the shiny, the shiny, the shiny uh, uh, backside but this one is really dark and I'm holding this directly to a light source which is just like 30 centimeters away from, from my face and as you can see no reflection at all. I will give you a comparison, a top view um, with my mobile in a minute where I will compare different materials for you. So first impression, lovely gorgeous black, um, feels a little feels like a little bit cheap material um, but honestly it's just a mat, it's a backdrop and it's just like roughly 14 euros so I'm not expecting something else and for what it does perfect. So size a little bit bigger than a standard um, Dina 4 page um, but should be definitely okay for miniature sized objects. Um, what immediately caught my attention is that it catches dust extremely well. So even little hairs, dust particles, um, you see this immediately on the surface. But that's okay, Green Stuffle tells you to use um, um, a hair sticky roller, a hair remover tool to, to get rid of these things and I tried that, works brilliantly, but you have to do this before you use it usually because it accumulates so much dust. So. Um, Coming, talking a little bit about the photography setup. Um, over the years I have used different tools to take pictures. Of course the main thing is just simply using your mobile, your smartphone, which is I think for the majority of people the main source of taking pictures. Um, or if you have like a you know, full, full camera you might use that. But everything comes with advantages and disadvantages. Um, a mobile it's really it's easy, it's quick, it's efficient. Um, a camera of course gives much better pictures um, if you know how to use it. Um, I'm not a professional but I think I have a decent understanding of aperture and um, exposure time and everything um, and I use both. If I have enough time I prefer my full, uh, my full, my big camera. 
the one I'm actually filming that you would see this here. And I want to show you my bigger setup for pictures. It's not the one, um, it's not the, the, the biggest setup because for the full setup I will use black shutters on both sides to block off additional light. But that is an example of how I, how I take pictures and also videos. So, as you can see, I have quite an extensive um, setup here. I have two lights coming from the side. Um, these are newer lights um, uh, with high quality um, LEDs. I have um, something I simply put behind. I use a black acrylic um, plate where I position the miniatures because I love this little subtle mirroring um, effect um, um, below the miniature and I use, in this case, two binders um, to block light going to the background. And um, quite a good camera on a tripod to take the pictures. So it's a setup I can quite easily set up, but it's, um, it still takes some effort and some time. And when it comes to photography, um, especially with a good camera, um, you have to think about your um, the aperture especially um, and ISO and all these kind of things so you need to know what you're doing and if it comes to focus you also need to think about focus stacking and that is what I do when I take pictures of miniatures so if I focus on that distance on a certain part of the miniature I which this will be in focus but of course um, the, the, the layers behind and before the focal, um, the focal um, point will not. So you need to combine a lot of pictures and I don't know if there is freeware available. I use Photoshop and Bridge to do that. So it leads to a point that you need good equipment, you need light, you need a good camera, you need some additional clamps and uh, possibilities to position your models and you need um, some kind of graphic design tool like Photoshop to take pictures. And I think this is fairly expensive and nothing you will just like immediately buy if you just want to take a few good high quality pictures of your miniature. So, um, but this is the tools I have bought over many, many, many years and I'm now gladly using these. Um, nonetheless, I want to um, take pictures with the, um, with the DSLR and I will also take pictures with the smartphone. And with the smartphone, I will not bother at all. I will still use some light source from both sides, so the same lights I use for the official, for the big setup. But I will also um, really don't care. I will just put the background, I will put the miniature very close to the background, which is usually a no-go if, if you go for black and darker backgrounds. And then I will take just light from the window, from the ceiling, to um, to take pictures and then I will compare different backgrounds as well okay so that's the fabric um, we have to say I'm using two lights for that video set one is coming here from from the left side the other one is coming from the right side and I think you already see that the absorption is really really good so now quickly let's compare the different materials people are using for their backdrops so first of all is the original green stuff world um, rubber um, background for their softbox no? as you can see here with the little with the little holes to attach it so then we have some kind of commercial rubber mat i have used before which i think is pretty much the same material and this is a piece of paper okay so like heavy car a little bit heavier cardboard that is material material three so and as you can see um the reflection and shininess of the paper is higher than i would say comes the rubber material and you see a tremendous difference here from 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 the color so i think that's that's already brilliant so um, I will do some test photo sh uh, test shots, and then we will do a quick um, comparison at the end. Um, let's go through the let's go through the individual pictures. So first setup is DSLR and P 
paper background, rubber background, green stuff world, Darth background. So as you can see, if we compare these three, you can cl you can hardly make out a huge difference when I use a DSLR, um, especially if I do a little bit of post processing. So if I amp up the contrast, reduce the highlights a little bit, um, and I have some distance to my to my to my uh, to my background no? from the from the miniature then to the background. That will mean um, I can hardly make out any difference, but it is much easier with the Green Stuff World um, dark fabric background. It's just like so dark that I do not have to take a lot of adjustments, but I have to take other adjustments as well, so I don't know if this really saves me time. Um, it's plain and easy, but I personally don't see such a benefit from it. If in contrast, we look at the pictures taken by the smartphone. This, there is something really, really, really interesting here. I show you now a terrible picture, a really terrible picture. Um, if you take your smartphone camera and you do not adjust the settings and you try to focus a little bit uh, on your miniature, what happens is that the camera, this is an iPhone 12, cannot really decide um, how to set the exposure time because the background is so extremely dark and then you have the lighter um, the lighter object so for the basic standard settings that can be immediately frustrating but look what happens when I reduce the um, exposure um, by two amazing isn't it that is wonderful so and that um, and 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 that leads in comparison to to the other backgrounds, to a to a, to a, to a, to, a, to a result which is um, absolutely stunning. Yeah, here you can see the smartphone camera paper background, black paper. Smartphone camera rubber background. Smartphone background. Um, smartphone background green stuff world. Isn't that great? And keep in mind that I have positioned the miniature really close to the background. So even in a very tight space, maybe your desk, if you just find a way, if you just find a way to attach that somewhere and position your miniature right here and have some very cheap lights coming from both sides, uh, a little bit from the front to avoid shadows, even using a desktop lamp put some white uh, cloth um, over the lamps um, and you have to soften the light a little bit, you will achieve amazing results. So for the conclusion, I would say absolutely no-brainer, great product, just buy it. If you take pictures and you want to take pictures um, quick and easy, um, take your smartphone, buy that Darth fabric, um, attach it somewhere, find two light sources, bam, uh, fumble a little bit with the settings and you have really really great uh, great results uh, So definitely thumbs up recommendation for the green stuff world Darth fabric background um, I will definitely use it uh, for both setups for the more extensive one the DSLR and the one with the smartphone um, I will show you a few pictures here again and honestly, both are taken, some are taken with a smartphone, some are taken with a DSLR, and I will not tell you which one was taken with, with which camera. Um, and you can just think, I cannot distinguish them. sponsored by Green Stuff World. I have not received that product for free. I just bought it because I was curious. Um, so it's an honest review. Let's go.